How about we add another 10 simple upgrades to our workbench? Let's do this. Now for number one, let's see if we can create a little bit more storage, especially since our total collection will be growing. Looking below, you'll notice that we don't have a whole lot of room for expansion, so let's look up. And since this top seems like it's gonna be the only option, let's build off of this two by four. Now, of course, we want this wood to be fairly lightweight, so it's not too top heavy, and see if we can get it relatively inexpensive. I mean, does that even exist? Actually, yes. Cedar pickets. From the factory, these fence pickets are about six feet long, which is definitely too long for this setup, so I need to trim them down. But I do want to leave a little bit hanging off at each end because I have an idea. And I wonder if you could guess it. Just a heads up, cedar pickets usually need a little bit of sanding before you use them. I'm also going to attach a board to the back so the stuff doesn't fall off the shelf. Now we have a great little shelf for those extra tools and supplies. A couple things you could do to this to upgrade it even further is to possibly put a little maybe triangle end cap on the end down here to keep things from sliding off. Or if you're nervous things might fall off the front, you can always put a little lip right there as well. That is totally up to you. But before doing that, I wanted to make sure I had enough room for number two. That is, to hang up our drill and driver. And to do that, we need to make a slotted holder. And we can do that out of wood, out of metal, or even out of plastic, or in this case, three inch PVC. I cut the pipe to six inches long, and then used a jigsaw to notch it out so that our drill and driver set will slide right in. Just a heads up, make sure you use a screwdriver when you're screwing into cedar, because the drill could easily overpower it. And with that, now I have quick and easy one-handed access to my drill and driver. And with the holders done, I installed those side corner pieces. For number three, there's always something we need in a workshop or garage, but half the time we forget about it. That is, until we need it. Paper towels. And I'd like to install these right here in the corner, which can keep it vertical and take up less room. Plus, it's real easy to rip off, especially at the corner. You can actually use the shelf to kind of tear it. You can use wood glue or super glue to hold this dowel in place, but either way, we now have a great place to store our paper towels with easy access in a workshop. For number four, taking notes in your workshop can be critical, especially if you gotta leave for a little bit and come back. I got a great way to fix that. How about we install some marker board on our workbench? But wait, there's not much room. That's true, but marker board can easily be cut down with a table saw or even a circular saw. Now let me move this drill out of the way and we can install this either right here on the leg or right in here on the pegboard. I think I'm gonna go with the pegboard because it's a little more flush. But I wouldn't attach this permanently because one day you might find out it's in the way or maybe you just don't need it anymore. Now the great thing about this, is it has a hard board on the back so you can easily use some double-sided tape to attach it. And for the dry erase marker, you can get some string and hang it, maybe some sticky Velcro or just lay it up top. And for number five, I'd highly recommend installing a power strip. Yes, I know power strips are not that uncommon, but we need to make sure we find one with a USB and a Type-C plug-in. That way we can charge some of our electronics while we're in the shop, like our phone or maybe even our camera. And I think we can install this right about there. And that definitely works. For number six, we need to have some hidden storage so we can hide our stash, you know, M&Ms from the kids. There's really only two places that you can hide stuff under here. It would be under the top shelf or the middle shelf. The bottom shelf, it's just too low to the ground. For this setup, I made just a super basic box out of some half inch MDF I had left over from a previous project. But you don't have to use this, you can use whatever you'd like. Now I want this box to kind of just hide up under the shelf and whenever I want to access it, it'll just hinge down and lay on this lower shelf. And with this setup, I think I can get away with just a single heavy duty door hinge. With the hinge in place, there's still a little bit of movement but not bad for what it is. To hold this box up, it's real simple. I have a hole that runs through this two by four all the way into the box. And then I'm using a double headed nail, it's an antique nail, but you don't have to have this exact one. You just find the hole, stick the nail through, it goes into the box and holds it up nice and tight. For number seven, I realized I haven't done anything fancy for the pegboard yet, so check this out. This is a simple little cup holder kit that'll install easy on your pegboard and allow you to store a bunch of stuff in it. These make quick storage for your pens and pencils and any nails and screws you might have left over. Now, if you're interested in this product or anything else we're talking about, I'll put a lot more information in the description. For number eight, I'd love to have a place to store our tape. Now, of course, you could just stack it like this, but anytime you need the bottom one, you have to take the top one off. So I'd love to find a way to store them like this. But at this point, any kind of movement, and they just roll off the front. So let's build something. Let's just use some cedar again, but I think in this time, let's raise it up just a little bit. That way when the tape's in position, if it gets bumped around or the bench gets moved, it's gonna roll straight to the back. And this is what I came up with. It looks almost like a miniature couch with a nice slope going to the back. I'm just using brad nails to hold this together, but you could use glue or screws. Now let's test this out. 
There's several size tapes right there. And that should work great. Another benefit to actually having a separate unit like this is that if you need to get this closer to your project or you just want to take it down and move it, you can. For number nine, I'd highly suggest one of these old style wood clamps. By themselves, they may not look like much, but when you combine it with a workbench, they're very handy. Sometimes when we're working on a project, it's just too big for our workbench or it's really tall and you need a way just to clamp it down. In those cases, you can take this clamp and you can attach it to your workbench, either by screwing it down or just clamping it itself. You can do it on the top or the side or the front or even the legs and this can come in very handy. It also works great in the vise that we installed earlier, especially if you need to do some carving. You can change the angle real easily and get to your workpiece. For number 10, we always need to be careful and make sure that we can organize our wiring, get it out the way so we don't accidentally cut into it or trip over it. The thing about that is that over time, our shops are going to improve, our tools are going to be upgraded, wire is going to change, and so if we base everything on one thickness or one shape of wire, that can be a challenge as we upgrade. But I found a solution. I discovered this little cable tie mounting kit that actually has some 3M foam tape on the back that allow you to mount it just about anywhere, and then some cable ties to run through it so you can easily strap up whatever you need. Now you can keep your cables nice and safe by strapping them up and out of the way. And if by chance you ever need to move this or replace it, just cut the cable tie, add another one, and replace it. These can also work great if you wanna make little individual holders for other tools or maybe just to store all your zip ties. And now it's your turn. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on all these upgrades, whether it's good, bad, or you have better ideas. Please put those in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Otherwise, check out this next video.